Perfect Sewing Club and today I want to try and make a dress into a mini skirt. So we'll see how I go. I can use the dummies here which is kind of handy and there's a nice heater and big tables everywhere so it's pretty fantastic. I can give you a mini tour um, before everyone gets here. I'm trying to do this intro quickly before one of my sewing friends comes and it's just super embarrassing. <laughs> if you want to see how I go making this dress into a mini skirt then stick around. So this is a sewing club studio, which we absolutely love because we can use the big tables and make a mess and you don't have to vacuum up at the end of it um, like you do in your own house. So it's pretty fantastic. Okay, so this is the second hand dress that we're working with. It's definitely too big for me and too long. It cuts me off at a weird point, but plenty of material to work with. All right, so first things first, I wanted to see what I was working with. So I hung up my dress um, very awkwardly on this dummy. It took me some time and one of my sewing club friends had to help me in the end. But we got there eventually. Okay, now I'm pinning the outer layer of my skirt and the lining together. I'm getting this in a straight line just below where I want to cut. So where the top of my skirt will be that I'll attach the band to. I love that these dummies turn. It honestly made it so much easier to pin this up. All right, so now I'm hacking away at my skirt. I'm cutting about a centimeter above where I just pinned around my skirt, so pin the two layers together. What I'm gonna do is take the sleeves, make a band, and then attach that band to this bottom section of the skirt. Alrighty, so now I am cutting off my sleeves. This is what I'm going to use to make the band of my skirt and I'll put the elastic for my waist inside this little band. Ooh, look at her band. It was honestly so much fun hacking up this dress. I think because I got it for free and because the dummies spin. I'm cutting open my sleeves so that I can use this full piece of fabric. Okay, now I'm stupidly attempting to iron this really thin, frail material. The irons at Sewing Club are so hot, and even though I turned this down, I actually still ended up burning a hole in this one, and then when I went back to iron the other one as well. Would not recommend. Now I'm going up and measuring around the front half of my skirt and the back half of my skirt. This is so I know how long I need to make my bands and then how much seam allowance I should add on. Now I'm taking the measurements that I got for my front and back bands and drawing them onto my two sleeves. And next I'm cutting out those two rectangles to make up my front and back band. I'm now joining up my front and back band pieces. I just want them to be the one piece and then I'll connect it to the rest of the skirt. So measuring one centimetre for my seam allowance here. I'm getting one of the sewing club sewing machines all ready and having a very good chat whilst doing it. This is definitely the most hygienic part of this video. Um, yeah, I think a little bit of spit because I couldn't quite get the thread through the needle. All right, so I'm sewing my two waistband ends together, right side to right side. 
So I actually added in a couple of notches, one to the back piece of the waistband and one to the back of the skirt. So I'd know exactly where I needed to attach this band and it wouldn't take me forever to measure it out again. I'm now pinning my waistband to my skirt with a one centimeter seam allowance and sewing my waistband and skirt together. Next, I'm folding over my waistband. So this is where I'll enclose my waist elastic. I'm still doing the one centimeter seam allowance and I'm going to hand sew this next section. Hand sewing this section of the skirt actually took a little bit of time. Every time I put the needle through, I had to flip the skirt over to make sure I wasn't sewing through the outermost piece of material. Now I've got my waistband attached to my skirt. I'm measuring and marking up how long I want my elastic to be and then cutting it. Now whilst I'm chatting away, I'm attaching a safety pin to the end of my elastic, which I'm threading in through my pocket that I left for my waistband. All right, so I've threaded my elastic all the way through and now I'm sewing the two ends together. Now I'm back onto the hand sewing and closing up my waistband pocket. Alrighty, so this is the finished skirt. Drum roll please for the final result. 